Hey, what up? Welcome back to Critcast. It is more Highlander season time. But I'm not alone here. We took, as always, on production and Radlix joining me on the mic. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, everybody, watching the brand new, finally, Highlander season is happening. It's going rough on SCK this season, at the start, at least. Yeah, so plenty of time to bring it back, of course, as well. But they just gotta, you know, pull themselves up by the bootstraps, as they say. Plenty time to do that here. More and more. Should be a bit of an easier opponent you'd imagine against uh, than the likes of Fela Esports, but you know what I'm sure this D-Blood is still very keen. They want to get these wins, these upsets, wherever they can. This might be a big one to get as well to have any say in the matter towards playoffs here. We'll see how it goes on the first map. Warm Pick to start things off with coming back of the short hiatus out of the map. We'll hop into the mid fight. Both teams spamming a lot of damage. Kick us on the point. Power there to the Nam. Gunfunk is the returning player on SCTK. Air blasting these packets away. Keep this team nice and healthy and with Danny falling to his day gracefully as well. Things are looking mighty fine on the side of Mormoro. Now currently they're just basically playing off on the, on the player advantage, which is obviously going to be great. The aggression is most likely coming out from SDCK, which they're trying to work on. LSK eventually goes down and, and they don't have the Plick classes, so the aggression actually comes out from the side of Moro Moro. There's no time for caution. No time for a caution. The cab is eventually going to get out. The heavy is going to get fo focused out, and also Jackalex is going down to Denny. So there is no window control at all. The point is still not being taken, and the forces coming out from the side of SEZK. There's a counter uber happening, and now the point is still on the side of SEZK. But I imagine they could eventually just lose it up. All right, long, long fight on point before they get this back. But didn't do too much time. Thirty seconds off the clock, notably as well. They have to <laughs> flying here. Uh, it has to be said, Tiny uh, does believe some maps are really nice for the classic, and he likes this thing, so he's using it wherever he can. This being one of those few maps that he has great faith on this weapon on. For now, not last very long on point, the combo quickly shut down SSK, quick and aggressive to get back in on point here, and likely on the regular sniper rifle. Right? So certainly, no slouch either, picks up one more kill, 3k, 4k, even with the 1v1 going his way as well. Anyone trying to pass this sideline is not going to be having an easy job getting there just now how he's sneaking through but he has his eyes on the double man really wants that kill if anything's possible but takes a sweet time and that's maybe not that bad after all it's just waste time or more does not ever get back i mean as you say if if you're playing highlander and especially on top levels you play for the objective and that is definitely what SSK is trying to do just waste as much time on the point as possible trying to deny off Moromoro, and now the Uber is coming out from the side of Moromoro, and it might be not as successful as they thought it would be because there is a pyro from SDK side. Warnerfuck is successfully denying the Ubers, it goes down post Uber, and now the Heavy is focusing off the group. But it's not going to happen, and Widowbix gets the stab onto Buddy. There, there is a good chance they are going to force SDC out from Banana, and they can finally just repush onto the point. If Loiki cannot get a straight shot, this might be not a cap. We'll see how it goes. Playing really passive right now. Still want to block the point a little bit, but how much are they willing to commit for that? Fire in the midst of all this, distracting some more, making things difficult while the sniper's lurking too. Picks are flying left and right, but still a lot of people down the mall road despite getting the cap here. That does not help. Spawns are bad, and this flank looking even better for SCCK, making Momoro look bad. In fact, just caught by surprise. Lose a couple and lose this point. Very easy. They get <gasps> the check point hits nicely, the air shot. Going down. Oh, get the kill as well. The head of my Danny going down. Traded out for it, maybe, but that was a great kill to have. Eva way though, it opened things up very nicely and everyone had such an easy time getting the point back and these are just not long calves to Volvo at all, SSK having such an easy time just getting back on point every time. They just never stop with the aggression, if they see an opportunity there are pick, pick classes being like down, they're just not going to waste any time defending onto the point, even if the uber is coming out. Every single exchange comes out in favor of SDCK. They just have all the players that can actually eventually back up either the point or the entire combo. Alright, lots of captain for the red team, but again, if you cap now, heavy will be gone for a little while here. Delay the cap by circumstance, really. SDCK reaggressing, wanting more time off the clock. Any time off the clock this far down already is just putting your opponent into really bad chokehold. And the time is ticking down mercilessly on them here, they're just not letting them have a quiet moment on the cap. Nice little snipe there with the classics, helps out a little bit as well. But is that really going to be enough to open this up right now? No power airblast helps a lot, I guess, but they need so much more to actually bring up back this entire round from this huge deficit on. And the overtime is actually almost happening on the side of SCK. This is basically what they are trying to play on. 
to just make a cap and there is never a single time when SDSK is not trying to just scrap off any single cap time onto the point. Piney gets the nice snipes onto me, so and Jack Legs also goes down like he doesn't really find any angles to actually finish off the heavy. So now there is the body spam and coming out from main, which is easily going to be denied. Uh, by Pyroham. The Uber comes out from the side of SDZK and the exchange is happening. They have to face up with flashing many players on the side of SDZK. The Heavy is still on top with this, along with the Sniper. Denny and Piney is still on the window and now there might be an actual chance. Buddy goes down to Sneaky. SDZK just has to bail out and the time is still ticking for Moromoro. Yeah, keeping themselves in this. You have just barely one and a half minutes still to go. Half the timer left to clock down SDZK. Just mercilessly running at the point there, but the spawns you can afford to take some risks as long as eventually they get the cap time in the meantime here, and it's looking really good. SCK getting more and more at this point, more blue than red right now. Still taking down the time for more and more, but they gotta get into the Niners, and there's so many people dying, they clutch this into overtime, but mostly because Skyfox happens to be there at the cap already, barely getting themselves there, but there's the damage from Leslie coming in late, but by all means, at the right time, just as they wanted to get the last few players in there, he just mows them down. SCK. Ah, uh, long finish there, but again, they put themselves in a really good position. They could take the time and just choke them out from there. More and more, really forced to just... Just whatever they do early on in the game, it just needs to be much, much longer caps when they get them. They had like two, three caps early on and they just lasted like 10 seconds each. They just pretty much have to be like more confident towards playing for the objective and, and what the picks they're actually looking forward to. So now the current mid fight is happening and they're trying to sacrifice each each uh, spam classes and currently Seb, Pyro, Sneaky going down. Jackie actually finds this sniper and there's a, an absolute player advantage on the side of SDCK. And currently the finisher is like Loiki and Clark is actually just going around trying to play around the map and find as many kills as possible. This might be an aggro hole. They have their heavy sniper demo everyone this is a perfect opportunity for the camp we'll see going really aggressive here for as much as they can I do not let anyone have a quiet moment once again get a little bit weak still beating as well but it doesn't matter you're invincible going in here and oh oh pyroham saw it coming a little bit nice and just a tiny bit it, at the very least right has to be, make sap get out like everyone else could die for all they care but Medic out is all that matters, and didn't really do so much else as well. Piney called that's really it, getting some bonus kills. Mezzo body down at some big threats off the map for the time being. Gives them some time to get this sorted going aggro, but with all that's said and done, they still don't have a Ruben themselves. This is not the worst position to dry push from, but you still gotta be really careful when you don't have the Uber charge as your trump card. Especially like, I don't know if you've seen it or noticed it, but Sub was so extremely low that he at actually had to take some safe space, so Moromoro was kind of delayed onto getting back onto the point. Like he actually gets a uh, cannon down, so there's no edgers on the point, and it's only the demo and the pirate is trying to fight. Skyfox is being set up with the mini sentry properly in, in Banana, so that might be an actual cap, and it actually happened. So we just love to see it. Jackie Lex is on a window. This might be a coordinated person since the medic is holding far aggressively next to the container. The flying classes are being aggressive, trying to deny every single thing that comes into window for the spam. And now the push is actually happening. May is in the Uber being included. Two players are getting fresh on the side of uh, Moro Moro. And now they actually have to bail out because Loiki and Aleski is aggroing on the point. There's no Piney, no Seb, and no Moikil to defend the point with any means. Yeah, big snipe to get there in the midst of all of this here. They're trying to defend the point so hard. They know what went wrong last time. They just couldn't really stop them from getting on the cap this time around. A lot more of attempt to shut them down early, but it's still not good enough. They're getting these kills regardless. They're getting the cap most importantly here. Making quick work of this one once again. I guess not quite as much as before, but still 40 seconds. Where TCK is already looking to be starting the second half of their timer now. Pressure is just a lot of all more to deal with, and they gotta figure out something quick. Because these rounds are flying by at this rate. I believe in Piney of getting the classic being that brave and experimental, especially in the, in the most important prime game. But you know, scoping in and charging up will not do any good if you're playing against them. So, and Lucky finds the. F the free picks and the free damage onto the pyro. There is no pyro on the side of Moro Moro, so oh, this might be beautiful a shot. aggressive push. Jack Lex. And get the yeah. medic and all this too. Uh, it's such a beautiful coordination play from the side of SDCK. Each time, it's either Jackie and Mezzo. It, most of the time, it's actually Jackie and Mezzo. 
And once again, that's staying pretty that's... aggressive. They want to reserve themselves the right to rush remain. If there's a chance to, for at least a long time, the, uh, the moment the call comes to no one's really in position to make this a good push, though. They're falling back pretty quickly, back into Tunnel C to get a bit of safe hold. But uh, again, still used very early. They don't want to have a quiet moment in this game. Body with the left side wraparound even trying to cut off the exit. Uh, call gets made. It's not worth it. The Uber does not go deep enough. They're calling this aggression off, going back quickly, but still lost a lot of people. Surprised they called this one quit so fast, actually. And it's not really much better for Diva, I don't think. They use the Uber to specifically play for the objective, to delay as much time as possible, because they are basically playing for the overtime. This is this is what you generally want to do. And see, they haven't lost that many players. Dagu was actually out. Jackie got the sniper eventually, and now they could basically cross. Okay, last few seconds for CCK once again. Even if they to give this one up, then stop the aggression coming in the game. And Blomo has to get in the vaccinator comes out once more. Sad special, but SCCK is ready for it. They're not letting them even touch this point once again. There you go, map point SCCK. Looks like whatever troubles they had, they're figuring it out at least enough for this game right now. 2 0 lead looking good, but thank you, free after all. So it's not quite over yet. It would be a huge comeback to make, but. Very much so possible. We've seen that happen many, yeah, many times. It needs a big change of order right now. The ties can be changed. It's not impossible. We have seen this many, many times. Hello. Where does this game with Fela with many of the teams? Jackie Legs is all already lurking behind it, probably unnoticed. Oh, the under rush as well, so Bledeski getting in there quick off the team's aggression. They ah, reserve yeah. themselves so much opportunity to go in aggression. Ah, Clark on is the chasing up to the medic. Eventually. So we, there we go, soldier behind you, you mentioned it, Mesut Jackie on the flank. Quick, whenever they have to be, getting the medic caught as well. Brilliant stuff and a bonus kill on the sniper on top yeah. of things, just to round things out. Mid fight going the way of SCCK, all looking up for the team in blue. See, if, if Piney was playing on normal rifle, he, he would probably get a med drop onto Degu. He had to charge up in order to get anything and then wasted enough time that Jackie looks actually Yeah, but he also just won a sniper of the sniper, so who really knows what they're talking about here? The guy who is you have shooting the game, one sniper of the SPS sniper win, or you who has like one meter stuff, you know? <gasps> Mage really chasing know. onto the medic and we'll, we'll find him. Let's see if he actually... No, he, he fails to find the medic, but he, he, he never gave up. He just... He just not going to give up, but May dies eventually, and Seb is safe on still on low HP, but safe. As this right. still has the point, that's that's actually I mean, interesting. Kills, <laughs> yeah, this is all just delaying that's over and over and over. Every kill is helping them get uh, some more as well, making it really difficult for Momoro to <gasps> approach Pine with another nice die to on the Pine. Medic. Just the just the thing with the classic. Everything look, just looks I take like a casual shot as well. I I take back any, everything I said about the classic. Okay, I'm sorry, Piney, if you're listening to this. I okay, just well, apologize. just as he said, the spy finds him, so Doesn't no more attempts of any kind now. But yeah, like I said, <laughs> the big kill has been gotten. These Uber Chargers are massive game changers in any and all of these situations, and they're just not having one for so much longer. Notably, though, I guess <gasps> not really Eva or more or more, right? They're on Pitspeak, not an Uber Charge. Now, that's still good in its own right, but a lot more risky when your medic can just get taken out as well. Here it goes, Nikki with the crit squeak. It hits them, but it doesn't kill anyone just yet. Yeah, the rest of them double That's kill type clank buddy going down at once. Not the biggest crit I've ever seen. It does what it has to, it defends the point. But it does not find the med kill, and that's the one you really want to see. Because now I you're just in the endless cycle of they have once you don't, and it, what do you do then? I mean, I'm pretty sure the Uber, well, I mean, the crits was especially successful since they're building almost at the same rate so the crits and the uber are going to come out equally if they build fast and they successfully defended the point if they manage to get the sniper distracted from shag they they might actually get a hold uh back behind the point they cannot afford to lose their demo which they are going to and sneak is just playing way too aggressive trying to lurk around the banana it's not going to do them any good because the crits are going to be full and there's no one to back up that crits now yeah, the Uber comes out early though, they're just trying not to get surprised by this crit creek and it takes out a key dynamic in this crit speed sniper situation, which is just using when they use it invincibly in front of three times damage. Now, well, now it's an again. entire it's other situation. No, it's the double man coming in again, the heavy takes a lot of tension away from things, that's the stick is riling in onto the combo. Garden oh. Fungus is keeping <laughs> them alive though. Garden Fungus is just turning up whenever he is required to. This is what happens. This is what it needs. And Jackie made actually find the medic and almost misses, almost beams. But Seb eventually goes down to Jackie Legs trying to bomb onto window and now basically just trying to finish off anything that can be seen. The aggression is coming out from both Caloric and May and Buddy. 
Is this going to be another aggressive hold? Is Aleski going to call it? I'm not sure about that. Alright, let's see Kurski staying on Zap's side of the stage as well right now. Get a far ahead of Uber, so they will comfortably have first for the time being, but timers at least are close enough to still be at least some worry to SCK that this might be still a comeback story. We'll see if this Uber finds any success right now, though. The spy is going in early. And works down around this body. Great. What a great bit. And the collapse might actually oh, no. come out. Is oh, they good? want to do that, but it's not going on so well. They get forced eventually, but. Are they getting the medic out on time? Sept kind of weak. There's no one else that scouted. We really need to scout speed to get out of there quick on the side of the medics. will survive for now. Could speak will be up very soon. SCTK very much plays into full knowledge of what's up ahead. But, but they can't make a mistake. Uh, they will not make a make mistake. <laughs> this this is basically what you want to see from SDCK. You just don't want to see them fall in terms of communication and coordination. Let's see if like, what Murmur is actually putting up. Are they going to get caught surprised by the crits? But no, Gordonfugas is successful denying 3-4 stickies and now the frags are not going in the way that Murmur and Sneaky intended definitely with that crits. So now Seb is actually going down by Caloric Flank. Yeah, Except Clark is there. flanking! <laughs> Clark? Eventually party finds okay. him, but by then it's much too late. Who's Look. gonna make this comeback now? They're missing so much damage, they're not having heals, but they have to go to the point, and the Eva is just gonna say no to any such attempts. Heavy in the sky, shut down as well by Lanky, he will not even touch the ground anymore. That is the round going to SSK, and with that, the map as well, full three point sweep to the side of our previous Prem winners. Things might be different now. They very much have to, I guess, on almost and as well as SCK. Certainly trying to continue on things from last map, taking home one map win already. Second map to go now will be Cough Cascade. We're staying on King of the Hill once again. We play to three best of five on the map itself. We'll see who can come out on top now. I'm very interested of, of how this mid fight is actually go, uh, go down. Like, or, or is this going to be a mirror play? What we currently see with the combo and flank classes playing around on the same sideline, and is it going to be a clutch by the pick classes? Is it going to be like an aggressive, like a lot of aggression from the uh, spam classes? It's just like the aggression from the side of uh, SDCK just wins it. The heavy they got uh, sneak and moy kill uh, in the first. Uh, first few seconds, so they could actually play on it. Moromori just adjusting from the ground on the bottom right side, so under the balcony. Uh, Jackie Lex is already in, noticing the call. Piney is going down, so there's no sniper on the balcony that whatsoever could deny anything. The spam class is sneaky, is trying to spam players out from the behind the rock. Dagu is still there, but he's eventually getting forced down. Players are getting flashed back right to the left and now they actually have to deal um, with the damage coming out from both sides. Focusing players at the same time, as the CK is still successful on finishing off the frags. Alright, so far so good for the side of SCK already. First minute clock down with two people down there. The combo is looking in shambles and the cleanup on the rest of them is coming in quick or more. Finally getting a quick aggression started once again though. No threat for Gedu. Getting out a quick with the scout speed might making sure the med will survive. A little bit more bonus damage coming through, but it doesn't look like any of it is really all too threatening. They're keeping them at alive, they're wanting to have Jackie is in. Jackie Lex as well, the last second reflect as well. Sap on 80 health, soldier that close, that would have been lethal for sure. Clutch stuff by the Paro on both sides of the server. But they need a little bit more than S to overcome the difference on timer they're already at. But they still managed to get a point, and there's no power on the side of SZK, so there's nobody to deny it. Loki is going down, so the main pick class that could watch sidelines far away is also down. Now, currently, it's all up to Jackie Legs, but he's also going down, and this point is not going to be kept anytime soon before the respawn wave happens on the side of SZK. Alright, we were finally coming out on the blue side as well. Let's see if they can do anything with this one. Doesn't look like they're really too happy to chase all too much with this one. They have the kill, so they can just set them with the point. Even if Seth gets out, begrudging, you have to make this game. Not to get quite the rushing mid body side. The chase was actually on, but can't quite find him in the end. And with that, and Gedu falling as well, they're not just having the push be bad all of a sudden, it's just falling apart completely. See, that's that's the power of Cave. Like, Danny was successful in hiding and not lurking around, basically just playing on the information that the uh, team provided him. Entered at the right time, and one rocket was enough to get Dagu down. Uh, yeah, let's see more more quick to get back on point here. They have the ad. Not really wanting to use it, of course. I mean, there's no Obviously. pressure on them right now, so better to hold this for when you really have to, but. 
Oh, there will be a lot of they pressure. Can, so I guess now's the time more than ever. Oh, they're wrapping under as well. They're trying to surprise them. But the Apollo dead or Garden Kong is just denying this push completely. Uh, this 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 will not <laughs> do any good for for Murumuru, especially losing the point, not using it what early, trying to save the Uber instead of uh, of trying to deny on the cap, and now they actually have to deal with another aggression push on the side of SCK. Let's see what is happening currently because Degui is on a full Uber advantage. If the pick classes or a spam doesn't get or a force out, and now it's being forced, Buddy is in and successfully gets step down trades. Only traces, right? I guess. Oh, he gets no, he <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> he do uh, Buddy is just too good. Buddy is just too good. Okay. <laughs> Why is Nikki just watching him shooting? What do you mean? Like, the, de the demo just had an agreement on not shooting each other. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Well, as good as that is, I mean, hey, Kato still went down at some point here. So, why are good boys using can advantage of things? Shaf has advantage. They gotta be quick with this one, though. They really don't have time to wait for people right now. They gotta get them a point quick. And SDK is fiending on an opportunity as well. They're expecting him to rush things. Big damage on the medic sap. Gets to the pack in time. Does not damage though? Find the heavy, find the scout. A little terrifying there. Get away with it for the most part though. Momo reacting in time to the rush onto the team that was happening. I mean, they better be rushing a three player and f actually four player uh, advantage on the side of Moro Moro. And Deku eventually goes down to Danny. Danny just manages to find these Deku picks every Ooh. single time. The first round still hasn't ended. Oh, see about that by the time the pause in real time happened, but until then, still a bit of a close one here. Piney with the sniper win in the melee fight on the spy. That's the start of the is coming out from come behind. Big push in, trying to wrap. This time they don't spot that early, but is it going to be good? Looks like it's Niki doing big damage already here. The faces on blue team needs any kills at all to bring this back easily right now, and they're finding Sappers yet. It truly does, but Eleski is just doing a mass amount of damage and distraction, causing to delay the point for Moro Moro. But Moro Moro played on the right mindset. They knew that Gordon Fungus and the Pardo cannot actually deny them from under, and Degu is just playing way too aggressively for them to notice that they gone under, and they managed to catch them. That's great. And now, oh, Seb is so low on HP, and May actually found, finds every meat shot this guy could actually hit. He's playing the game of his life. What can you say? Yeah, my making it happen right now for the team goes down a hero, three down already, a few more left to go, Metal on the hunt for them already, can't find them just yet, like here on the other side, still very terrifying for the rest of the team, but the corner between the two pick classes as well, and in the meantime they're just getting on point as well, and they can't just let them, but they were just stuck between a rock and a hard place. Um, Moro Moro was just, help me, I'm stuck, help me as this game. <laughs> but there was no step to be found, they did not help yeah. them at all. Definitely, there is no pun intended. Well, much like those scenarios, I guess Ball Ball got screwed over. And with <laughs> that, we're going to the second round right now. SCK once again in the lead. Looking good for them once again. Very close one for what it's worth, but... <gasps> the God Arrow yet. coming out from Degu saving May in mid-air. That was like a crucial one, because May can now actually chase the... Pick advantage is also coming out from SDCK once again on the mid fight. Sneaky might actually going to get sandwiched by Clark and May at the same time, so now they can freely occupy onto the point. Let's see if Donny makes any difference trying to jump in, but no, he plays the safe game and tries to retrieve back to his combo. The Ubers are pretty equal because Seb didn't die. Alright, decent start once again. SDCK starting off the round well, and that should be a snapper kill as well. Don't even have the chance to get Danny in from low. He's trying really hard to enable something, but it's not happening just yet. In the meantime, more sna stabs may be happening. Bez on the hunt gets one. Can't the Uber, but the force coming out in one way or another. Does not sound too bad for them here, especially with player picks they already have. My points one more. Dracula in with the damage from up top as well. The rest of the teams commit deeps, and in the meantime, it's just continuing to be blue timer ticking down relentlessly. The time is once again favorable for SDCK. They're trying to make sure to waste as much time as possible on the timer, and which they have been successful so far on both maps. Is this going to be any different here? I don't think so. But Moromor actually has to try to make a difference here. Trying to adjust their gameplay on rather picks. There's no Jackie Lake, so they might actually just not fear and go on to the left. Especially since now they have Uber they have to be extremely close, but Buddy finds the air shot onto Sneaky. What a golden stop. And then he finds the medic once again. Deku is down again and the 50 Uber on the side of Moromoro. However, SCK still has the point.
Yeah, so it's just wasting so much time right now in the favor of the blue team. Although, don't have an Uber yet, so gotta be a little bit careful approaching this cap. Actually, just a stab coming through, terrifying them. Everyone's turning around. Spy wasn't even close to them on the combo, but they are so worried about Mezzo already. Very much have to be as well. That's another pick for Piney as well. Aleski goes one. there. Maybe they can go somewhere. Just like get, getting the tank class that early on main, that means that uh, the team that is trying to go onto the point is basically delayed on concrete and now Jackie Legs is trying to find anything that is near the point or near the cave jumps out and get find skills I'm not sure how this man is able to pull these out is he playing like jump cascade instead of cough cascade I'm not so sure about that the Uber is coming nice out. Nice shot by Mitabix as well. Bomb Def coming through in the meantime by Danny. Everyone's hitting the shots and more more. Some more of this and they might have a chance. <laughs> they should be. As I said, they should adjust their gameplay. And if if that is that they should hit everything, they definitely should. And it is a must. Alright, we'll see. It's a long way to go in the first of five. But the second round is highly contested, puts you on match point here on SCC case and you really want to take this the easy way around, not even give more, more any chances and with these bombs coming through already, they're not getting any as well. Jacklex finds the medic, no one even aware of the bomb happening at that moment. And now they're stuck here with nothing. Oh, the second bomb is coming up from Jacklex and eventually finds the, the soldier too. I mean, they have it too, and the last key is just like there for the cleanup. The spy is getting chased down and from this actually finds Widerbeck, so of the whole of team wipe on the side of Morvoro. Oh, they're not even done yet as well. <laughs> they're still <laughs> getting killed <laughs> on SCCK. They are all over the place in the best way possible. Every angle covered. <laughs> They've done their geometry class homework. And there we go. Air shot for the <laughs> medic maybe? No, we're just looking no into the sky. Even no. that angle was covered by Mezzo after all is said and done. They have eyes and ears everywhere. They might be cheating. Are they cheating? I don't know, maybe this is... <laughs> maybe they own the narrative at this point, maybe it's all scripted in their favor. We will never know. <laughs> I would explain a lot of things though. Oh man, you just hate to see it, you just hate to see it. There's an overtime going on for SDCK once again, it doesn't matter whether they lose the cap or not, because two minutes of disadvantage on the side of Moromoro, but I'm pretty sure they are going to be successful getting out. Deku actually dies, let's see if it does make a difference, you have to help your heavy and your engineer onto the point. Moikil is going down by Mazo and there's only Danny to fight for the point and perhaps the Pyro and Pyro Hamlet just bails out. No, but not getting no. back on the point. Nobody's going back onto the now point. That's gonna be a match point for SDCK. This map might be decided <coughs> very quickly here. This would have to be a massive reverse free all to still clutch out this win, but it's looking dire for more and more. Like we said at the beginning, this is the Titans of Prem winners against the guys just moving up from Division 1. A couple of faces we've seen towards Premiership with four four, but most of them though. It's just about the first time up here and I mean uh, it would be a top goal at it either way but SCK having no mercy today. They're just not having it. They're just like okay guys let's 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 just finish off the frags, let's finish off the entire match in a 3-0 situation. Yeah this match might be over this round. This is the final one if SCK can win it. It would have to be a free round back to back to back coming from World War to bring back this best of five, but it's looking dire at this point. It's the K getting a quick mid win as well. Even despite going down people at the end, they just can't bring it back once more. Piney with an angle here, meant safely behind the fence, no chance to get him while the stab's already coming through, just waiting for the opportunity. Quick attempt to push back, but it's so much damage getting past Fireham. Cannot shut it all down. Lose the demo man already. Bomb comes through desperately, but it's not on the medic, unfortunately. You get the sniper, that's still a good kill, but. Crits Creek once again out of Sebastiani. Desperate times go for desperate measures, but I don't know if this is the time for it right now. Did they? Did it work out last time? I didn't I really mean, see it like happening. Once, I guess. I, yeah, you cannot really pull off like one-time opportunities, especially if you're trying to play against a heavy team like that. You cannot be, you know, experimental. You have to play for the strategic ways. Yeah, you gotta just know what you're doing while you're doing it and can't make up things on the fly because SCK will just be most certainly better at that than you will be as well. Let's see how it goes here. Spy on spy action. Well, Sniper's involved as well. A bit of an awkward one there, but <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're just leaving. Yep. Like he's just being backed up by Bezo and both of them are trying to spy check around Widowix. But they eventually, Widowix is just goes out. Okay, he was like... 
Okay, guys, uh, we are playing this. Oh, the high bomb from Jackie it actually gets so such big HPs onto Sebastiani, but picks up the break. And now Sneak is coming out with a huge grids. Finds and there you go. What was happening? They had like a triple flank on the medic as well. That I was working on all fronts for Momo. I, I should probably say these sentences that grits are not going to work out. Pine is not going to frag with the, uh, with the classic because everything turns out as a contradiction on my part. Let's see. So SDCK is going to win the game. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to work now. All right. Well, it could be worse position here. Seven on one HP after that <laughs> initial aggression as well. Doesn't even have a pack. Well, you get as well has to go all the way back and is leaving so many people unattended. Find these guys down already. Bomb on the medic for Danny will find the kill. And suddenly it is looking very doable as well. The could be coming up very soon. As this game knows what they're playing into, but need Alex to be ready for this one. Well. Yeah, and that's it already. That just happened. That just happened. There you go, it's as easy as that, just get the heavy under when they're not ready for it. That's what these little flanks are for on these Highlander maps sometimes, you gotta make the most of it. Works out just fine. But Dom Tom, what we fail to notice, that currently the time ad is on the side of Moromoro, it doesn't get it. Yeah, this is taking it. so long to recap right now, so, but I mean they're getting there at least now. Still without a good advantage, mind you, especially with Sap staying on Crispy. This might be an actual chance and an edge, whether they are building on the cr crit head or not. I mean, they just have to keep their uh, medic alive. And probably your sniper would be beneficial, so Sneaky kind of, really, you know, gets spammed out. Lucky's playing on the balcony, let's see if he finds any any frags. But no, every team is playing like as safe as possible, and and currently Murmur is back onto their side under the balcony. On the right. Almost ready, but it really got a hit shot because Gadu has been as well. Getting a chance on the medic here, yeah, virtually impossible. Out. Yeah, they're just popping into them, even. they're not giving them a chance. Sap getting only now, but they really need to kill as well. Jack Lakes might be cleaning up a house, and so does the rest of the flank for that matter, but that's pretty much all the kills they're getting, and while well, they're probably not very happy about it, Momo can certainly take that time, regress for the next push right now. Gotta make sure this push happens though, there's a spy already behind them, they're in position to make the reverse kill on the medic happen when they're just trying to criss all over them. Is it going to happen? I want to see that happen. That might actually change the pace of the game and the entire outcome. Oh, Let's see gets if they taken can out early, out. so that's gonna bode very well for Momo already here. One less pick loss to worry about, and SCCK falling back quite early, hoping the sniper maybe can even something it out in the meantime, but they're not giving him much to work with. And now the sex is actually trying to trying to happen onto Sebastiani, but they actually failed to do so. Even though Sneak is out of the game, the Heavy can still laser beam, and they're trying to work on that. And they were successful, still defending onto the point. Equal times right now, even better time for the side of Moro Moro. But now there's only the heavy that is currently defending on the point. Danny fails to find any frags onto the pyro or the medic, and Moro Moro is eventually getting finished off. All right, a couple of people don't know more, more after all the said and done. Time was very close. Gedu in good Uber as well. Maybe the crit will finally turn against Moro Moro. They did so well with it this round, but. Now they're stuck in such a bad deficit off the point as well. Time is ticking against them rapidly. And SCCK is not giving them any room to breathe once more. Aggressive push coming in, not even letting them get close to the point, hoping to catch the medic early. Maybe can't quite find that. It wastes a lot of time. Couple of people going down is still a bit of a big deal right now when you have so little time to spare all tomorrow tomorrow. But they still have a chance to bring this one back. Gotta get this kill quick after all is said and done with this three times damage coming forward. I have my I have my hopes on Widowmix right now and oh, whether the crits is beefing. going to happen and Sneak actually beat three crits onto them and now just Murum I mean as this game is just trying to get out onto concrete which they have been successful the crits has been just basically wasted. <laughs> Garden Fungus denies the soldier mid-air with a body block thanks to Sneaky, so this is not going to happen. May is getting the soldier I mean the heavy eventually and now the Uber is on 80% of the side of SDCK. This might be an actual retake right now, but Muromoro has to be extremely cautious about this. Uh, because they to the wire, but they have Uber coming up for the quick quick against them. Here we go, Uber coming through. A very early use on the Uber charge, but again, what's Muromoro going to do about it? They have to fall back, they can't fight against it for now. Zap on 98 does not have the beam connected anywhere, and it's just going to be... a death before they even have a chance to put the final quick quick to use in SDCK. Winning both maps in a 3-0 sweep.